So I thought it was time to put a vlog up. Uh, most of you have found my YouTube channel via either football or holidaying, traveling or cruising. So I'm back on the cruise ships first time after COVID. It's taken a long time, over 900 days since my last cruise. But I've just been on the Arcadia, Aurora, and now I'm in Antigua, a lovely place here, and just about to join Britannia. So this vlog will be very Britannia P&O focused, but I will include the other two ships, but welcome to my first vlog in forever. So this beautiful place is called Ocean Point in Antigua, and I'm just here waiting to join the Britannia P&O cruise ship. Haven't been on the Britannia for a long, long time, probably well over three years. So I'm looking forward to it. But first, my first cruise back was the Arcadia. So, skip back a couple of weeks to my Arcadia experience. Well, hello, a new vlog. Uh, I'm currently on the Arcadia cruise ship. If you've been watching all my vlogs, this is the ship that I was on for about 35 sea days during COVID. And I'm back on it. It is November 2022. And this is my show, um, just being set up on stage. Love this theatre. This look at this theatre. Look at this theatre. This is what I consider PO's sexiest theatre. And you sit and watch it in comfort. Look at all the seats. The seats are fantastic. Um, table service, drinks, all that sort of stuff. Looking forward to doing the show. Um, thanks all for coming along and watching a new vlog. Uh, this is me on my first cruise since lockdown and COVID restrictions. Let's hope it goes well. No problem at all. Took it to the funeral parlor, gave it to the guy. And I said, trap free, please, somewhere over the rainbow. He went, no problem at all. And to see my nan's coffin go down to Ding Dong the Witch is Dead, absolutely <laughs> broke my heart. Um, yeah, it's one of these things. There's a new one flying around for all, for all you quizzes, but it's wrong. Liz Truss is the shortest serving British Prime Minister ever. Wrong. It's Rishi Sunak. He's five foot six. <laughs> All right. Where are you going? And I went, I'm going to Malta. And she went, yeah, he's going to Malta. But his luggage is going to Kenya, so. <laughs> and, uh, hopefully, I never saw the end problem, but hopefully that happens. I played this game recently where I go, you can have a dinner party around your house and you can invite anybody alive or dead. Who do you want to bring? And a guy got up on stage and he said, Piers Morgan. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> and yes, and I didn't recover for about three minutes, but the game must go on. So, wind forward just one week and now I find myself on the Aurora, going around the Caribbean. Just watched the most amazing sunset. You've missed it, by the way, it's just over here. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm on the Aurora, got a couple of shows going around the Caribbean. Um, if you want to know what sort of time of year it is, England play USA in the World Cup in about five days time. England play Iran in the World Cup in two days time. So that's about the time of year this is, if you're watching this in the future. Um, yeah, I'll show you around the ship. So I'm on this ship for exactly a week. Uh, I get off um, in St. Martin uh, in the Caribbean. I fly home only for a few days and then I'm flying all the way back out here again to Antigua to join the Britannia. So if you stay tuned, I'll be on that very, very soon. But yeah, I've done my show uh, in the theater already uh, on board here, my show number one. Um, here's a little clip of what I got up to on that evening. I'm in my dressing room area, come and see 
the stage. I know it's dark, but look, this is the backstage area. Just see through that little curtain there. Um, better go back into the light. Anyway, this is uh, on a cruise ship. You either play the theatre down one end, or you play what what I call the back lounge. Uh, but tonight I'm in the back lounge on the Arcadia. Um, this is a ship. This is crazy. In 2002, I was in Sydney, Australia, and the the Aurora that I'm on today came past. I took a picture. Look, I took a picture of it. This is 2002, and the picture at the bottom is the new paint job. Um, the currently looking uh, Aurora. Isn't that weird? Isn't that strange? The last cruise ship I was on the other week was the Arcadia, which I got stuck on for 34 sea days. I've got a history with that. And I've got a history with this ship, having a photograph with it 20 years ago. Anyway, here's a little clip of the show that I'm uh, doing tonight. At the moment, I'm not happy about it, but now we've got a little break because we're in World Cup month. Woo! Or as the Scottish call it, November. <laughs> Who do they play tonight? Oh, I don't mind. There's a massive rivalry between Scotland and England, and the Scottish hate us, right? The Scottish hate the English, but I would love to hate them, but we just never know when they're playing. <laughs> this is what I love about the job. Coming to stunning places like St. Martin. I haven't been to the Caribbean since before lockdown. Um, when I get home off this cruise now, which I fly home tonight, uh, a couple of more days, four days, and I'm in Antigua. Fly back, but absolutely love the Caribbean. So I've just had a lovely fun day out in Antigua. Let me just go up to my, I've got a balcony just right up there. Literally just up there. Let me go and sit on my balcony and tell you all about what the best things about Antigua is if you've only got a quick day trip getting off a cruise ship. There's only two or three things really to do that you need to tick off the bucket list. But yeah, this is Britannia. Not been on her for three years. Crazy. Really enjoy this ship. So the first thing to do, get yourself in a taxi. It will cost you $5 each way to go to a place called Dickinson Bay. Now Dickinson Bay is really famous because of the red phone box. This is where loads of people take pictures like myself um, and post it up on things like Instagram and just go to Dickinson Bay in a taxi. Um, nice beaches, nice people, music going on everywhere, um, bars, restaurants, the lot. But the one I really like to go out to is the floating bar, Contiki. You get picked up in this little boat for free and it takes you to the bar and then when you're ready it takes you back to the to the beach. Um, it's a really, really good little system that they've got going on there. What a lovely little bar this is, run by a woman called Emma. All cash, don't take a card, it's all going to be cash and you're going to need to take the boat over, um, otherwise you'll get all your phone wet, your wallet, everything else that you take with you. This will be full of lots of people from the crew. You might recognize some faces because when a cruise ship moors up, normally they've been told this is the place to go. If you fancy a few drinks and some good photos. It's run by Emma. This is Emma in the white. Um, she's great. Um, it seems that every drink she serves, she does one herself. So uh, bear with her, but, <laughs> but she's harmless. She's harmless. This is us going back to shore after a few hours in the bar. Then, just by popular reputation, I was told by everybody to go and eat at the Big Banana. And because uh, I love my pizza. Um, this is the place to go apparently. So I took up their uh, recommendations and went to Big Banana. This is just, just in the port. So when you're there on the ship, this is just in the port. And I ordered myself a medium pepperoni pizza. Look at the size of it. That's a medium. Um, it was superb. The staff were lovely in there. Really clean, really lovely little establishment that they've got going on there. I couldn't finish it. I actually gave uh, a quarter of it to the table next to me. I said, I am absolutely stuffed. 
Then it's just basically back walking around the port before we have to get back on board for five or half past five. Really strange seeing lots of Christmassy stuff around, Santa Claus and, and Christmas trees and all the shops being in such a hot country. But yeah, that's it. Go to Dickinson Bay, go and see the red phone box, go to Contiki, the floating bar, go to Big Banana for something to eat, and then hop back on the uh, cruise ship. And that is all within 10, 15 minutes of the cruise ship. Then in the evening, just as we're leaving the port ourselves, the first ship to leave, a German ship next to us gave us a little nice send off with all their uh, mobile phone lights and um, shouting and whistling and all that sort of stuff. So that was a nice little send off from the port of Antigua. morning excuse the eyes just woken up it's half past six in the morning um, we're just pulling up to a place called St Kitts come have a look this is the view off the balcony at the moment one second my second stop um, on Britannia. I did Antigua yesterday and today is St Kitts so uh, I'll um, let you know where to go, what to do and today uh, for reference is the day that England play Wales in the World Cup. Should be interesting. <laughs> So St Kitts, what to do in St Kitts? Well first of all, make sure your taxi driver stops you off at this viewpoint. It's called Timothy Hill. And it's where everyone goes for that perfect, perfect shot of where the Atlantic meets the Caribbean Sea. It's absolutely stunning. And here are a few examples of photos that got taken of me. It sometimes gets busy, Every taxi driver will stop there because there's some food and drink to get there. There's some little stalls and also you can get pictures taken with monkeys and all that sort of stuff. So they're in it for a little bit of a tip when they stop there anyway. But make sure your taxi driver stops at Timothy Hill. Then it's off to Cockleshell Beach. Make sure you get a taxi to Cockleshell Beach. It will cost you $10 each each way. So if you're going to go there for the day, it'll cost you $20 each to get there, get back. And the bar that we picked and the bar that we were recommended is the Reggae Beach Bar. Really friendly, lovely atmosphere. Um, you walk in, they just take your name and everything's put on a tab. So if there's a group of two, three, four, five of you, everything gets put on a tab. And the minute you leave, five, six hours later, you just set it up by card or by cash. Really, really friendly, lovely place. And the slogan there is really funny because their slogan's called Rush slowly so I couldn't help but buy a t-shirt I had to buy one
Well, good morning. Um, I'm in St. Martin today, and I was here last week, as you probably saw on the vlog. Um, I'm gonna go to the beach um, literally over there, because last time I was here, um, I had to um, fly home from St. Martin, so I only got two or three hours out, then I had to go to the airport and go home. Um, today is my show. So I don't want to go too far afield because I need to get back for rehearsal and that sort of thing. When I say the beach just over there, look, I'll show you my little view that I've got here. Um, this is the view outside my window. There is a beach just over there where the cruise ship pulls up. It's um, a man-made beach. I didn't really explain it last time that I was here. Um, and uh, that's where I'm going to walk today. I've had a shave because it's my, it's my, I don't like shaving, but it's my show today. So I had a little shave. It's black tie night, so I've got to look presentable. This is the current situation of, uh, so the time at the moment is 8.49 in the morning and the temperature at the moment is just hit 26. Um, it's gonna get hotter, it will, it will go up to um, over 30 today. But today for me is just a relaxing day. Let's go out on the balcony quickly. Oh, let's have a look. This is what I see today. So, because I was here last week, um, I've been here lots of times, and do you know what, the next cruise I get on, Ventura, I fly to here, and this is where I get on the ship um, at Christmas. Um, there's three things really to do um, in St. Martin if you stop here on a cruise ship. Right, so number one is you just walk out of the terminal here, uh, walk out the front gates, and do a left, and it's 15 minutes to walk to that beach that's just over there. There's some nice shops two or three roads back. There's some nice, nice bars. They all show sport. They all sell food and drink. They've all got Wi-Fi. So that's the easy option, 15 minute walk to a beach. Or you can get a little water taxi for $7 return that just takes you from the ship across to that beach. That's just lazy. Just walk 15 minutes. Uh, the second option is to go to the airport beach. Just get a taxi. It's half an hour away and it's the airport beach. And uh, you've probably seen it on social media where planes literally are landing just above your heads. It makes for great pictures and, and videos and all that sort of stuff. Um, that's an option. And then if you don't want to go to that beach or the airport beach, just go and book a catamaran, take you out, you know, like a boat a boat trip, beautiful waters and stuff like that. There's three things to do in St. Martin. There's lots more to do in St. Martin, but that's the three things people usually do. Totally messing up the magic trick. Oh, you've been good, <laughs> This is how you screwed up. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait for old Ruthie as you're right going now. by. Middle. I'd like to ask He's my guest. Yep. Well done. <laughs> you done it, you done it, you done it. Oh, and by the way, if you're in St. Martin and you got off the cruise ship and you want some Wi-Fi, friendly chat, go to Dirty Sanchez Bar. This is my favourite bar and they're really, really friendly in there. So then it was back from St. Martin onto the ship um, and then it was the night of my show in the Headliners Theatre on the Britannia cruise ship. Do you want to see a bit of my show? Here you go. I don't want to put any of you under any pressure. <laughs> You're not colourblind at all, are you? Pick, pick that dress up yourself, yeah? yeah. Okay, I'll do it. Where did you get that name from? I love Buzz Lightyear. You love Buzz Lightyear? <laughs> I love it. You were looking mega relaxed. Buzz. All right. You're looking more like Woody now. <laughs> right. Did you ever get COVID? Did you ever catch COVID? Yes. You did. They say that, they say you lose your taste. Um, what we do? Um, Jojo. No, Jojo. Anybody you want to go and see a live or dinner concert, go for it. Pink. Pink. Good answer. And you are pink today. It's nice. <laughs> You know the fact of 50 on. But have a lovely holiday. Take care and see you around the ship. Take care. And fast forward exactly 25 days, today is Christmas Day. 
2022. Um, this is my little uh, resort I'm staying in. I'm actually in a place called St. Martin. I was just there a little while ago on the vlog. Um, I'm literally sitting there now, look, editing the vlog that you're watching. Um, let me just show you where I am, show you my balcony. How cool is that? Christmas day. Christmas day in a place called Oyster Beach Resort. Can't complain. So thanks for watching the vlog. It's gone well over 20 minutes now. Um, I will be back with a vlog about this cruise I'm going on now. As I say, it's Christmas in the Caribbean, so I'll be doing a vlog about that. I'm back in the country, in the UK, beginning of January, and then we'll get a few vlogs up for January. I'm back editing, I'm back making vlogs. Thanks for watching if you've been watching for years and years and years. Take care, have a Christmas, happy new year.